So we're making progress on the integration of the Merkle processor. Just today I've managed to get these two frames working together, the control frame and the memory frame. Uh, the rest of the Merkle processor is stacked up behind you. Uh, so here we just have the external interface of the processor and the uh, memory frame over there. Um, as well as the external interface here, we have this region here which generates the clock and the reset signals. Um, here we've got a memory, a uh, large block of memory where I've already downloaded a little uh, test program. And then the peripherals over here, uh, some counter and timer over there. And I've got uh, some IO, general purpose IO down here, uh, which we'll use a bit later on. Uh, so at the moment, uh, the clock is halted, um, so we can uh, step uh, single clock cycles if we want, and the counter will march on like that. Um, so it's in reset at the moment, so if we get running as such, so I've got it at a low clock speed at the moment, um, just under a hertz here, so the counter is uh, marching on, but everything else is stalled as we're in reset. So up here we can see the address bus for the processor. Oh, the processor, by the way, is being played by this emulator, uh, simulator board down here. So, yes, so the address bus will be coming in here. Um, we're in reset, so if we take it out of reset now, we'll start to see this march through the boot sequence. And now it's vectored into the main program, which is running out of here. Um, and uh, you'll see things start to move around here. Um, this is quite a slow clock speed, so let's bring it up. Oh, you're starting to see the memory cleared, which is the first part of this test program. So let's go up a few hundred hertz, so it's starting to move a bit more quickly. And because it's Easter, I thought I'd start with an Easter egg. Um, and this is it. I can move it around. Not great as any strengths go, but it's a start. So, two frames down, five to go. How hard can it be?